Hi guys, so welcome to this new video about KFC3. So I'm going to be showing you all the ins and outs of the software, how to use the hardware and all that kind of stuff, just to show you how the tool works. So then, KSV3. This is the new KSV3, obviously took over from KSV2 and Kato. Quite smart, eh? Yeah, the box is pretty cool. So this is a KSV3 unit. Covers all sorts of things, like the KES is really strong at protocols. So this thing covers so much stuff. Some, some people hate it, some people love it. I've never really had any problems with it. So it's kind of one of those tools. So let's go into the functions, what it does, what it doesn't do, and everything else. So we're all in, I'm all plugged in, and I'm all plugged into the car. So what I want to show you is the Alien Text full system like I did with the Flex. So OBD in, into the art box, out with a USB lead, and that's gonna go into my laptop. So what I'm gonna do is gonna read this car using the, the Alien Tech software, and then I'm gonna open it into their ECM Titanium software, which is kind of like their software for doing the tuning side. So I thought I might as well cover it all. So, here we go. So, we're currently sat in a Seat Cupra, and I have the Alien Tech software to open. I'm all plugged in, usual into this Cupra. So you straighten the OBD port, and into the KS3 unit. So this is the software, it's just booting up now. The software is quite easy to use. Like it's, I think they're all pretty much like each other. Like there's no like, you know, real pain in the R software. The fans are on, so I'm hoping you can hear me right. I'm on the dyno. So you got pretty much laid out as simple as it is. The top bar is kind of important. I wouldn't really do anything until your, your tool synchronized because I've had it in the past where it's not done it or whatever, for whatever reason, and you kind of have to start all over again. So if you get to the point where you found your car, you're going again. You can search. There we go. Right, so there's, there's, first of all, there's different cars. So you've got A to Z, so you can pick by vehicle, make, model year, category fuel. You've got cars, bikes, trucks, agricultural and boats so i'm gonna go straight in here and i'm gonna go for a seat so i know what ec i'm on oh no definitely not that one so yeah i want seat and i want to find the ecu so this is like the easiest way of doing it if you kind of know what you what you want i'm gonna leon cooper and then once you're at that point you've obviously got what you selected here you got support utility and all that on the side. If you click support, you go through and send them a ticket and all that kind of stuff. So it's all built into the software. Then you've got OBD. So this box here tells you what's available. I've got boot bench and all that kind of stuff. So boot's available to me. It's a non clonable ECU. No need to ECU factory. You've got to read the password. So you click which one you want. So status green means you've got that protocol. If it's red, then you haven't. So you'd have to update. You obviously got the manual if you want to look before you go into the software. And this is going to be a VR, so it's a virtual read from their software. So if you've got no subs, you can't read this car with this tool. So continue. The manual's straightforward. I think it's pretty much generic for all the OBD stuff. So then you met with this page. So I'm just going to turn this car off. Two, just to ignition two. <coughs> so you've got ID, writing, and recovery. So do an ID. Okay. It's going to connect to the car, do a little ID. Okay, so it's done a VR, so it's done an ID, and that's what the ID is, so okay. It's a text file, so yes, ID, Cooper, save, download in virtual read files, and this is your file that you need to write to it. So Cooper, guess, read, VR. And that's it. That's as simple as that. So when you've got subs, it's just a case of downloading the actual file and that's it. So with Alien Tech, they've also got their own software for editing files too, which I also have. So I'm just going to quickly show you that with their file. So if I just unplug Kess, plug in their ECM Titanium. So as with Flex, they have their own software, which you can actually, you don't have to use their software. It's just another software you can use. So I'm just going to open that up. Yeah. 
port, so it's an E drive. So it's on a USB, so everything is stored on itself. No idea what that is. So it kind of gives you a bit of a helping hand. So if we go to ECM Titanium, load that up. So this is their own software for doing editing and things like that. So if you buy the Kessery tool, you can also go and buy ECM Titanium. Now, I think it's about 1500 quid for the full version like I've got, which will enable you to download as many drivers as you like. The drivers are linked to the tool. So if you've got a software version, you're going to have to download the driver to that software version. And I'll show you that now. This is just like a quick overview. I don't really want to go too much into the... I just want to show you what it's about. So downloading drivers. So this is constantly updated because people are always sending files in. So you will get a lot of updates on here. And then, there we are, we're on. So this is their software. So if I'm gonna browse, I'm gonna open up that Cooper file. So I go to desktop. Uh, what did I save it as? Yeah, there we go. So this is their file, I'm just going to open it up. <coughs> what it's going to do now is going to check the system to see if it's got any drivers which will enable you to tune this software. And I'll see what I'm, you'll see what I mean in a minute when it actually loads up. So it's, it's currently looking at 1,000 or 155,360 compatible, what it's saying is compatible drivers. So it's going to find the driver for this software. So you're not like you gotta go find it yourself. Well, you can go find it yourself. You can come over here and, and search for it, but it's easier just to let the system search for it itself. Still looking. I'm not sure if my internet's a bit slow. It's only a lot faster than this. Put it up to 15,000. As soon as you see something pop up here, that's when we can continue. It's always the way, isn't it? Every time you make videos or anything else, something always goes really slow. It's not normally this slow. That could just be down to my, I'm in the dining room, so the internet might not be as fast as it is in the office. So I've never really noticed before. Here we go. So I'm just going to open this one, it's going to continue to look, but I'm just going to abort search and I'm going to look at this one. The yellow means I've already downloaded this one, but there's updates on it. So when you get updates, it will allow you to download those updates. There you go. So green means it's, it's all good to go. It's a, it's a driver that you want. Forty is uh, no. So then it gives you, it puts into perspective all the maps that you've kind of got. So it puts it like cylinder head, engine load limiters. So you've got all your air control tables, your limiters, your turbo control tables, engine torque tables, the activations, injection systems, spark advance, and rail. So it kind of like puts them all into little folders for you as well. You can look at it in two D view, hex view, and all that kind of stuff. I do do training on this uh, software, so if you do want to look more into the actual software itself, then you can do. Just give me a, a holler and I'll set you up with that. But this is the Alien Tech kind of like software versions. Now, <coughs> Alien Tech don't do the vehicle logging, like the data logging, like other tools do. So, like B Flash, Auto Tuner, Flex, all those tools offer a level of uh, data logging to help you do build tunes up. So what they do offer you is a tool to be able to read and write to cars, which has got a massive, an absolutely huge list of uh, protocols. It's probably one of the biggest. I think everyone who started with a CAS at some point. And then you've also got their software for ECM, which is called ECM Titanium, which will allow you to make maps and all that kind of stuff. So <coughs> I hope that kind of bridges the gap with the Alien Tech stuff. Just to get you kind of like understanding like what, what you're going to have. So obviously Alien Tech covers boot, bench, OBD, the same as all the other tools. But you do have to buy the different protocols. So OBD, bench is the basic. Then you've got, I think, no, OBD, I think is the basic. Then you get bench, boot. I'm, I'm sure, I can't remember now. 
But if we all on, if you look on uh, the chip tuning site, if you're on there, what you, what op options you can have. But it's decent software. I've used it quite a lot. It is quite slow sometimes, but on the other end, it's reliable usually. So it kind of like balances out. So obviously, if you've got a tool which is really fast and it bricks easier and you've got to fix easier, it's going to take a lot longer to do that than it is just to write it in a bit lower, a bit slower in the first place. So. You know, to me, it's a good tool. I've used it quite a lot. ECM's all right as well. It's actually getting a lot better than it used to be. It's kind of got a lot like a bad name around it because the actual software, not this software, but the previous software was cracked. And you only got like a, a certain level of drivers. But whereas with the full version, you're getting a lot more information, a lot more quality drivers. There's a lot more in them that so you can do stuff that you want to do. And it, it, you know, it is what it is. It, you know, you've got the sound tuning during gear. You've got all your pops and bangs and stuff. Like, there's all sorts in these map packs now. So they're pretty decent. So I would recommend it as a, I'll probably have it as a secondary tool. And obviously use ECM titanium with Winnells. So it's a good system. I will go over everything in one video. I've got a video planned to do uh, about just remapping in general. So I'll cover a lot of these in that, in that video. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you all, you know, get kind of get a bit more, a bit more into touch with the, the tools and everything else. And please like, subscribe, follow, do whatever you want to do, and I'll see you in the next video.